Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video, and we are outside at the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. I'm with Charlie, and we're not at the factory, it's are we, Charlie? Probably the most clickbait sort of <laughs> intro you could possibly I know. do. Yeah. Nothing uh, to do with nothing, Porsche. Nothing. Could not be <laughs> further from. Uh, I have been in contact with someone via mobile.de to rescue two elephants from Germany. Two I can Jiva elephants. elephants. This is what happens when you go grazing on mobile. <laughs> DE and just put Kajiva Elephant into Mobile D and see what pops up. Yeah, so yeah. I have agreed in principle to bring two elephants back to the UK at 750 and a 900 IE, yes. which as people might know is the limited edition yeah. that you have at home. And these are pristine no, Kajiva God, Elephants no, too, are they? I think of anything worse. No. These are restoration projects, really, yeah. that could use a bit of love. A lot of love. They're, they've been neglected for about 10 years, haven't they? Possibly. So we'll see. So today, well, what time is it at the moment? Yeah, 10 to 7 in the morning. We yeah. left yesterday at about midday. Yeah. Drove from home yeah. to Dover. Got yeah. on a ferry. In white van. In white van. This is actually the story, is the white van. And then got into France and then did France, Belgium, Germany. We sort of forgot to book a hotel, didn't we? So. Well, we sort of didn't forget. We had this discussion yeah. and just went, we don't have time. Because no. I booked this not yeah. thinking you were coming. I booked this I as a 24 hour dash yeah. into Germany. Yeah. And you were putting the pressure on of going, we're going to be combining, we're going we to be are. doing we're meant something to be. on the farm. Yeah. So I thought I will make sure that this is as quick as I possibly can make and grab. it. A smash and grab. So this has actually been our four-wheel bedroom as well, um, a little kip in the back of that, um, just for a few hours, etc. But we're due at to go and collect them up about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So, yeah, I, Charlie's never been to Stuttgart before, never been to the Portrait Museum. I'm having a quick wander from the outside. Strangely, they're not open at seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. But, uh, yeah, you'll join us in a bit when we're heading up to see what state these Kajivas are in. We're just heading off to where the bikes are. We're still a bit early. When did we get there at nine o'clock? But, um, yeah, interesting trip across, wasn't it? And it was your first experience in the de-restricted autobahn. Yeah, it would. Yeah. I mean, you could have really chose a more appropriate car than a two litre ah, diesel van. But the, the Renault traffic, the Renault it's traffic. well known as an autobahn killer, isn't it? No, no, I don't think we had an autobahn in mind <laughs> no. when they designed it. But you did your best, didn't you? Yeah, you got, yeah, yeah. yeah did alright. Well, it, we did some last night, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, first little stretch, and we got yeah. it up to 107 miles an hour, which, yeah, it was respectable. It felt very stable at yeah. high speed. Yeah. And then we did another little bit this morning and I'm downhill probably with some wind behind us. We got a, I saw 111 on the speedo and then it was me calling frantically over to you. Yeah, Go yeah. on Google what the top speed of a Renault traffic van is. What was, was it? it? 103. 103. So, so you're yeah. well ahead. I'm what? Eight, eight, eight miles an hour ahead right. of a Renault traffic. <laughs> That's good effort. Good effort. Anyway, we're off to try and find some breakfast. Uh, wait for the world to wake up around these parts and then we'll go and see these bikes for the first time. No, this yeah. was the 900 way. Oh wow, there we are. Yeah, same exhaust. Yeah. We've got San Francisco. Cool. There it is. Proper there. Right, well, bikes are loaded, Charlie. They are. Uh, two places you have to pick them up from. The bikes are about 20 kilometres apart, one of his sisters, one at his house. And um, yeah, there's quite a lot of work, isn't there, on those, but they are what yeah. they are. Well, we'll wait and see, really. Uh, sort of, I think it's just a lot of cosmetic stuff. Uh, they're going to need to go to the paint shop. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about sort of internals of things. I think it's just going to be a lot of fiddly little 
getting things sorted bits. Yeah, I mean, you're really lucky to own a Kajiva Elephant 900IE. There are only a thousand made of those bikes. Yeah. I have one. It's probably my favourite bike in the garage. It's so capable, and the mix of Italianness and the Ducati engine and its history, uh, it's a great bike to ride on road, off road as well. Olin suspension as standard. So that's that's why it's worth just oh, no, searching 100%. one out. Yeah, well, that's exactly why I wanted yeah. to go and do it. It was a way of getting hold of one. Or I've got two. Exactly. <laughs> You've got two, yeah. And I had a 750, and they're actually quite lively. And people miss it out because it's just a different engine. It's quite a racy engine, high horsepower, top endy, revy, cammy. It's quite an exciting yeah. bike. But yeah, you will no, get to find out. I look forward to seeing out. how that is off road. <sighs> I don't know, when it comes to what they'll need, I think they'll no. just need a sort of an overhaul. The 750 looks pretty complete. Yeah. It just needs a, I don't know, tarting up really. Yeah. And do the belt, put a battery in. And yeah, that's the trouble with Ducati engines because they have a rubber belt that needs changing every three years. There's no thought of trying to start them or anything, putting a battery on them. Anyway, that's all to come. Um, shame that 900i hasn't got a key with it, which is the biggest dilemma. Uh, but maybe he'll find it. It's, I can understand he's lost it, so we're going to search out that. But uh, they're reasonably complete. And yeah, he says the 750 runs, but yeah, it was yeah. a bit of work to be done. Yeah, but I think when he said it runs, that was running in 2006. Oh, was it? Yeah. Right. Ah, uh, right. Anyway. To be continued, we've got to fly back. How far we've got to go? It's now six, is it 500, 600 miles we've done? Yeah, 700 and something clear. Yeah. A bit of de restricted autobahn to come, probably, Charlie, do you think? Yeah. Feeling no. less sort of in, well, infused <laughs> to go yeah. quickly now. I've got sort of cargo on the back. Yes, precious cargo. And the other thing, obviously, you didn't pay a huge amount for them because of the conditions. So it's a, and you also had to do all the blessed export import business yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. As well, five percent VAT on the visit. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. So, dash yeah. back across Europe, back on the ferry, and uh, back home and unload and see exactly what we've got. That was a big day yesterday, 1,256 miles, I think Charlie said we did, bringing these two bikes back from Stuttgart to Charlie's bike shed, which is pretty special in here. And he's built a few bikes, didn't he, in here, your Sand Raiders bikes. Yeah, so Sand Raiders bike just there. Yeah. Like that out. Yeah. Just finished, yeah, the engine rebuild on that. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, now filled with two oh, more. Two more Kajiba elephants. Well, yeah, never had Kajiba elephants in here, but no. um, look. I know. No, finally back, unloaded. Yeah, so we're going to sort of try and take a few little bits and pieces off just to see what we have been left yeah. with. I mean, they're rare bikes, aren't they? I have one here, and it's my pride and joy. The history of Kajiva is they always competed at Paris Dakar, and they came out with this uh, injected 900cc engine, and in 1990 actually won Paris Dakar with. Eddie Morioli. Yeah. And second hey. with Jordi Alcaron, who was out there on San Reyes yeah. with us. Who we were riding in those dunes with, which was fantastic. So, very special bike. 750, basically, got to well, work yeah. on that. Yeah, a few bits and pieces on that. Uh, but it was a way of buying this, really. Yeah. So, yeah, one of a thousand bikes, and they come with that really nice key fob, silver key fob, that uh, has the numbers of them. So, they're all numbered. Yeah, so this is an nice. early one, 160 something. So quite yeah. nice to have had yeah. that. Um, yeah, because they didn't make many of them. And the, yeah, there is a sort of a bit of a following behind them. And yeah. they are not only rare bikes in general, but in the UK as well. So Super rare in the UK. Yeah. yeah, I sort of almost feel like we know all the owners. Yeah, but they're really yeah. not that many. But that sort of thing. But there's a bit of work with this one, isn't there? Yeah, uh, yeah bits and bobs. Uh, the guy took the injection system off. Yeah. Uh, way back when, because he had a he had a guy, 
he had a man who yeah. was going to uprate it and do lots of things to it and the guy ended up going bust. Yeah. So he lost the injection system. Well that was about 2004-05 isn't it? Yeah. The poor thing sat there since then. So it's going to be quite a build this. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not the end of the world. There are lots of parts that interchange with Ducati. So it's a 907 IE Paso engine. Engine, uh, yeah. So that's, yeah, with all the ECUs and injection. So it's not beyond the wit of man, really. No. It's just the, the hard bits were obviously the plastics and things like that. So yeah. there aren't really any cracks, any proper damage. No, nothing's no. missing with that. So. I'm, I'm bit... quite pleased that it's complete in, in that yeah. respect. Yeah, well, I just say, I know mine, and it's a fabulous bike, absolutely fabulous, but uh, yeah, the fiddle wheel, as far as plastic tank, that sort of thing. So, the idea now is, well, I'd be fascinated if you are intrigued and want to see Charlie's journey with this bike, so he has history. If you could leave encouragement in the comments and things, whether you want to see this, it's going to be uh, months if yeah. not a year, isn't it, yeah. the journey. But getting this Kajiva 900 IE to look like mine at the end of the journey, or perhaps even better. Yeah, yeah. Think about I'd love to go do a Sand Raiders event on this. Right. So, well, when we spoke to Geordie, it was the, the works bikes had a 21 inch front. Right. And then a bigger rear wheel. So whether or not I can fit those bits and pieces on here to yeah. make it a little bit better off-road. Yeah. So, well, Leave that's, it as is. So yeah, yeah that would be an absolute dream if you could turn it into a Sand Raiders bike and do Sand Raiders on a Kajiba Elephant 900 IE. I think that would just yeah. be amazing. Yeah, there you go. So that's the journey. Hope you enjoy this different sort of Harry's Garage video collecting this bike from Stuttgart. And if you do like this video, please leave some comments to encourage Chai and we're filming the way all the way through. Thanks for watching.